Hey everybody, it's Ann Beebe. Today is New Year's Eve, 2018, December 31st, 2018. It's Monday. I am on Captiva Island off the coast of Florida in the Gulf Coast uh, near Fort Myers. I'm actually staying in Fort Myers. And I drove out to see Sanibel and Captiva Islands. And that little bridge is what connects uh, Sanibel Island to Captiva. I'm on the Captiva Island side. And uh, so there's a causeway, a bridge and causeway that links Sanibel to the mainland. And there's a $6 toll <laughs> to get out here. And I decided that's to keep the riffraff out. That's what I think. Because there's a lot of money out here. It's very beautiful, it's very nice, but you cannot afford to stay here or live here unless you have a lot of money. And you can't even really afford to visit here unless you have a little bit of money in your pocket. So it's very beautiful, but it's very developed, and I can tell everybody here has money. Uh, so I like it but it's not really my cup of tea so I really I, I came back from the Everglades yesterday and I really enjoyed being in that area it's not as developed and uh, it's more you got more of that wild feel and anyway it's very pretty I'm enjoying the day here so I'll just show you, there's a, there's like, there's a beach on both sides of the bridge. So I'm looking at the Sanibel Island Beach there. Or one, I don't know what the name of that beach is, but it's on the Sanibel, on Sanibel Island. And the thing I liked about Sanibel Island, actually, I drove the length. So I, I just got back from, I, I drove to the very end of Captiva Island. And uh, there's a dead end, there's a parking, parking for the beach and I think the parking lot was full so I decided um, I kind of like this spot I was going to stop here on the way back and take a look around so I'll show you here's uh, the beach so it's on the gulf on the gulf coast and it's actually a very nice day it's uh, in the 80s Fahrenheit in the 20s Celsius so they actually it's warmer than normal for this time of year so very nice day to be out and I wanted to get some oh there's a little bird here <laughs> there's some little birds I don't know what type of bird oh yeah there's a few of them here um, so it's a nice day to be up at the beach and I don't I haven't tested the water temperature it's probably pretty nice um, yeah very pretty beautiful weather yeah, very lucky with the weather, and I like the, it's interesting, they must have put these rocks here to protect the uh, shoreline, I guess, I don't know. So, I'll give you a little look, look around here, the people here, hanging out at the beach. Yeah, it's very nice, but you gotta pay, you gotta pay to park, so I had to pay five, it's five dollars for one hour. I know, see, you cannot... And I have to check. There are some public, other public beaches I noticed on Sanibel, but I think you probably have to park, pay to park at any of these. Yeah, so I drove out in the Ford Mustang convertible that I've rented and I had the top down and enjoyed that because the speed limit on Sanibel Captiva Island it's usually 30 or 35 miles an hour sometimes even less so it's very leisurely Sanibel Island what I liked about it there's actually a uh, bike path the whole length of the island but interestingly enough that bike path ends once you get onto Captiva Island and I could tell on Captiva Island there's a lot more money that's where everybody really wants to be is on Captiva Island. So I'm sure it's it's they're beautiful islands, and um, 
a lot of times these places they become they when they become very popular the money moves in and now you can't really afford to stay on Sanibel and Captiva Islands unless you um, pay hundreds of dollars a night for accommodation. I don't know. That's what I, I kind of looked into that and it was too pricey for me. Anyway, so I'm going to soak up some rays today on New Year's Eve. And I want to wish everybody a happy new year. And uh, I guess I'll call it a day now. Okay, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.